In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make more complex things happen in your document by assigning multiple events um, to a button. Um, I've set this document up ahead of time to show you the kind of thing I'm talking about. Um, in my preview, um, when I tap at the place name at the bottom of the, uh, the page, a text box scrolls up and a picture appears. Um, there we go, like so. Um, and when I click on the name again, the picture disappears and the, the text rolls away, like so. Now I've left um, this one on the end here in order to show you how it's done. So let's just hide my preview. And the first thing we need to do is set up a multi-state object for the text um, for this last um, uh, destination here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a frame over the name of the place, which in this case is Moscow, like that. And I'm going to make sure that it's clear, that it, in other words, it's got no fill and no stroke applied to it. And then I'm going to shift click, just need the selection tool there, shift click to pick up the text frame as well and then I'm going to right click and choose group. Okay, you could use keyboard shortcut which is control or command G depending on whether you're using a PC or a Mac. And so now I have my group and I'm just going to go up to my layers panel and have a little look at what that group looks like and here it is, it's just called group. And what I want to do with that is I'm going to copy it first of all, so I'm going to make sure it's selected and I can see that the group is indeed selected by this little red light that's switched on here, okay? And I'm going to um, copy it and I'm going to paste in place. Obviously you can use keyboard shortcuts if you prefer, I'll use um, the menus because I think it's a little bit clearer on the video what I'm actually doing if I do that. So now I've got three groups and you can see this group is still selected but what I need to do is I'm going to um, move one of the groups down. Now you may have, if you've watched um, the sliding reveal movie, you will see this technique applied there. So I'm just going to select both of these groups here and I'm going to move them down into the position that I want them to be in for my start and finish locations. And then I'm going to shift select the third group and I'm going to go to object states and make a new multi-state object. So new state and I'm going to call this one Moscow MSO. Now for those of you who've done videos of mine before, you know that MSO stands for multi-state object and I'm going to name them. Remember naming is important because it helps you keep organized. So this state is down here, so this is going to be my start state and the second one is also in the same place, so that's going to be my end state, so I'm going to begin and end in the same location. And then the third one is going to be where it goes in the middle. Okay, so I've got start, end and middle. Okay, and then I'm going to choose the start state to begin with. And then I'm going to go back to the layers panel and I'm looking for the um, Moscow MSO, which is here. I'm going to twirl that open. And then you can see I've got um, the start state I'm twirling that open as well, so I've got them both open and now I can see the rectangle and the text frame. So I'm going to select that and shift select the text frame. Okay, now it's really important that I do that because um, if you try and do anything with the, the multi-state object it itself, it just won't work properly and you'll get all sorts of peculiar things happening, jumping, not um, animating smoothly or animating from the wrong location. Um, so that's why I've made a real point of just selecting these objects. Actually, I just jumped ahead. I'm just going to select the rectangle at this stage to apologise. So I've just got this rectangle selected and I'm going to um, make this into a button. Okay, so I'm going to go to buttons and forms and this button is going to have the action of go to state. 
and I'm going from here to the middle position. So I'm going to make sure that the object is Moscow MSO and I'm going to choose middle like so. Then I'm going to hit the escape key a couple of times to get back to the parent MSO. So when I go back to object states, I can see the MSO in here. And then I'm going to go to end and I'm going to go through the same process again, go to layers and go to end and there's the the rectangle which is going to become the button and again I'm choosing go to state and this time I'm going to middle again hit escape again back to object states and this time I'm choosing middle and back to the layers panel and there's that rectangle again so this time it's up here and then buttons and forms again, add an action, which is going to be go to state. And this time the state is going to be end, like so. And then the right thing to do is just have a little look and see how that looks. So I'm just going to show how that looks. So that's what it looks like at the moment. And you can see that so far so good but it's not a small run, um, nice smooth run up. It's um, this kind of jump, um, which you might be happy with, but it's not quite what we want. So I'm going to add an animation. So I need to hit escape again to get back to my parent object state. And this time I'm going to select middle and I'm going to go to layers and then I'm going to choose the button and the text box. Again, it's vitally important that you choose the exact layers, not the object state itself, because you will get the wrong kind of animation. It won't animate properly. So it's absolutely vital that you're picking up the right pieces here. So I've got this button and this text box, and that's just fine. So now I'm going to go to the animation panel and I'm going to choose preset and this one is going to be fly in from bottom so it's going to come up from the bottom up to this position and no visibility and we're animating to the current location okay then I hit escape a couple of times and then I go back to my object states and choose end and then back to my layers and open up and select the button and the text box again. Go back to animation. And this is going to be fly in from top this time. And again, we're animating to current location and we're going to change the opacity to none. So no opacity changes. And let's just have a little look. So I'm just going to play the preview again. And let's see how that looks. And you can see there we've got this funny little jerk. Now the reason that's happening is because I haven't set up my timing. Okay, so to fix that, I'm going to just hit um, escape a couple of times and go to object states. I'm going to start with middle and then I'm going to go to timing. And you can see here, these are the two elements that are being animated. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of those and link them together by clicking this little button down here where it says play together. And again, hit escape a couple of times, go to object states, choose end and go to timing and link these two animations together so they play together. Now let's see what that looks like. That's better. Okay, so now when I hit the word Moscow, it zooms up and down okay but this picture is on the page the whole time so we need to deal with that now this needs to become part of this object state so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it okay um, so I'm just going to go to edit and choose cut and then I'm going to click on the multi-state object that I want to paste it into go to object states and in the little drop down on the object states panel 
um, I can choose paste into state. Okay, now this is currently, if I choose paste into state now, it will paste it into this state, which is either the start or the end state. Now that's not what I want. I want it to go into the middle state. So I'm choosing the middle state and then I go to paste into state and then I just move that picture up where it needs to be like so and you can just see on this thumbnail this tiny little representation of that picture and I'm also going to add an animation um, to this so I'm just going to go to middle there's the picture it's already selected so I'm going to go to animation and for this I'm going to ask it to just fade in okay and you can see it will fade in on state load this time and let's just have a look and see what this looks like so now it doesn't appear on the page when we begin and when I tap Moscow you can see it fades in but it's coming in at a different time when you click these ones it happens at the same time so we want that to happen this way for the Moscow one as well so let's just see what we can do about that well what we need to do is we're going to hit escape to get back to the parent MSO and then we can have a look so we want to pick up this image the button and the text and when we go to timing we'll see all three of those things appear here and I'm going to select all of them so I'm shift selecting and then I'm going to link them all and now when we have a look at this it happens as it's supposed to it fades in as we click and the type scrolls up okay now you'll notice that we've got this down here and we don't have it over the other parts the, the text for these kind of just appears it kind of scrolls out like it's running out of a little drawer um, whereas this looks like um, the box is moving upwards which is to all intents and purposes exactly what is happening um, and this is a kind of trick over here and the trick is this box that I've got drawn in here which as you can see has got a white fill applied to it and all I'm going to do is just drag this out like so and then let's preview that and we should be about done and look at that that looks so much better so there is our Moscow button working just like all the others and that's it that's all there is to it